The kitchen is buzzing with activity, the cooks are cooking a huge amount of delicious food. In the following footage, we see a guy named Goring wake up disoriented and see a man on the other side of the cell. He informs that they are on level 48, where they will be for a month. According to Tremagasi, all this month they will be forced to eat scraps after those who are above. Goring looked through the hole. Below them are the same levels as above them. The guy held out his hand to shake Tremagasi's, but he ignored it, asking him to stay on his side of the cell. Tremagasi said that he has been here for a long time. Every month the participants of the experiment are moved to a random level. Suddenly a platform descended on the level. Goring watched in disgust as Tremagasi greedily ate someone else's scraps. Goring had no intention of doing so, but still took an apple, deciding to save it for later. Exactly one minute later, the platform began to descend downward. Goring felt the temperature in the chamber rising rapidly. Tremagasi told him that it would get even hotter until he threw away the apple. It turns out that it is forbidden to keep food for themselves, it belongs to them only as long as the platform is on their level. Goring had to throw the apple away. Goring recalls how he was informed about the conditions of the experiment. According to the rules, nobody can opt out early, but he was allowed to take any one object with him. Goring chose a book about Don Quixote. In the present, Goring told Tremagasi that he decided to take part in the experiment in order to quit smoking. According to the terms of the contract, he would be out of here in six months and receive a certificate. Tremagasi was surprised, because his term is one year. The man refused to say why he was here. The lights went out, which meant it was time to go to bed. At that moment, the platform rose instantly to the top. The next day, Goring would not eat again, still feeling disgusted. He continues to question Tremagasi as to why he is here. The man tells him how in a fit of rage he threw his television out the window, which fell on a random passerby. After that, Tremagasi was presented with a choice, to go to a psychiatric hospital or here. However, no certificate was offered to him. Goring wondered how many levels there were. Tremagasi replied that last time he was on the 132nd level, but there were more below. Of course, the food doesn't get there. Goring doesn't understand how one can go a month without food. He believes that all people should agree and distribute food evenly among themselves, because this is the only way each participant in the experiment can survive. But Tremagasi said that people on the upper levels would never share with those below. Goring was wary when he learned that Tremagasi had brought a knife with him as any object. Today was the guy's third day without food, so he compromised his principles and ate. Suddenly from one of the upper levels, a man falls into the hole. Goring wonders why everyone reacts so calmly to this. Tremagasi as if nothing had happened, asks him to read the book aloud in the evening. Goring in turn asked Tremagasi to tell what had happened to his previous companion, for it did not seem as if the man had been starving for a month. Tremagasi understood what he was getting at, but was in no hurry to answer the question. Suddenly a woman who looked wild came down on the platform along with the food. Tremagasi said that her name was Maharu and that she came down every month in the hope of finding her child. Also, Tremagasi told that she takes the life of every her cellmate in order to increase chances of finding her child. According to the man, he had done nothing wrong on level 132, it's just that his cellmate's term was over. Goring watched in horror as the men from the lower level tried to use Maharu for entertainment, but the woman quickly dealt with them. As Tremagasi had requested, Goring read aloud before going to bed. It helped him not to lose his mind. Day after day went by. Goring began to get used to life here and found common ground with Tremagasi. One day they smelled gas. Tremagasi said they would fall asleep in a few seconds and wake up on another level tomorrow. Tremagasi is only two months away from the end of the experiment. Upon awakening, Goring realized with horror that he was tied up. This time they were on level 171. Tremagasi said he could go a week without food, but then he would have to find a nutrition source. On the lower levels there were screams of people, some of them realizing what a scary place they were in, immediately jumped down. In due time, the platform with empty dishes descended on the level. Tremagasi assured Goring that he didn't like what was happening either, but it was every man for himself here, it is only way to survive. For days on end, Goring screamed and begged Tremagasi to let him go, but he would not. So eight days passed. Tremagasi said that the time has come, his mind was already blurred by hunger. He had intended to begin the meal, forcing Goring to shout, when suddenly Miharu descended on their level and attacked the man, then released Goring. In a fit of rage, he took Tremagasi's life. 
When he woke up, Miharu was eating. She offered a bite to Goring. He wanted to refuse, but then hunger made him go for it. Miharu got on the platform to go down further. At this time, the chef was reprimanding his staff for not making dessert refined enough. While in a delirium, Goring continued to talk to Tremagesi, who was no longer really there. Goring tried to justify himself by saying that he didn't want it, but Tremagesi forced him to. Now he would have to live with it. Waking up on level 33, Goring was relieved. His cellmate was a woman named Imagiri and her dog. Goring realized that he had seen her before. She is part of the administration that organized the experiment. Goring recalled being asked at the interview what his favorite food was. He said snails. In the present Imagiri said that she agreed to participate in the experiment voluntarily. According to her, there are 200 levels. And if everyone ate as much as they needed, there would be enough food for everyone. The essence of the experiment is to make people understand this and start showing mercy to each other. At a certain time, the platform with food came down. Imagiri and her pet take turns eating, so as not to take someone else's portion. Goring learned from the woman that there were no miners participating in the experiment. As the platform descended to the lower level, Imagiri began to persuade the neighbors to distribute the food evenly, but they were obviously in no mood to listen to her. Day after day, Imagiri tried to persuade the people below to share food among themselves, but all her efforts were in vain. No one cared about the fate of those below. On the fifteenth day, Goring grew tired of it, and he threatened the neighbors that if they didn't do as they were told, he would defecate in their food every time. To Imagiri's surprise, it worked. One day wounded Miharu came down on the platform. Goring and Imagiri began to give her first aid. Suddenly the temperature began to drop rapidly. It turned out that the dog took food from the platform. At night Goring gave up his bed to Miharu. He dozed off, but soon awoke to the women scolding. It turned out that Miharu had been using Imagiri's pet as food. When Miharu descended with the platform to the lower level, Imagiri who was very depressed, told Goring that Miharu had joined the experiment ten months ago. No child was with her. Imagiri also assured that she had worked for the company for 25 years, but she did not know what was really going on here. The woman had been fighting cancer for the past three years, but when she realized she had lost, she decided to become part of the experiment herself. Imagiri wanted to help, but now she realized that most people here were hopeless. Meanwhile, the chefs in the kitchen cooked Goring's favorite snails. The platform which is on level zero, is full of the most exquisite delicacies, but all the people don't care how the dishes look. The most important thing for them is to fill their stomachs. Tomorrow Goring and Imagiri would be on a new level, but the woman still refused to eat. It was level 202. When Goring woke up, he saw that Imagiri had voluntarily passed away. Goring was horrified because the woman had claimed that there were only 200 levels, but it turned out that there were many more. Goring hallucinated again, Tremagesi and Imagiri convinced him to use the body to survive. He wouldn't last long without food, and besides, it's not certain that the next time he'll be on the level where the food reaches. In due time, the platform with broken empty dishes came down. Goring picked up a shard but for now he tried to restrain himself as best he could. He tore pages out of his book and ate the paper, but it didn't help. Tremagesi persisted in persuading him to eat. Eventually Goring gave up. The next time he woke up was on the sixth level. His cellmate turned out to be a guy named Bahara, who intended to climb to the upper levels and get out of this horrible place. Bahara persuaded the upstairs neighbors to help him with this. He took a rope with him as any object. The man and woman upstairs agreed to help him, but as Bahara climbed up the rope, feces spilled on him. The rope fell into the hole, and Bahara was saved by Goring. Bahara cursed the people upstairs, realizing that he had missed his only chance of salvation. During the night, Goring continued to hear Tremagesi's voice, urging him to do whatever it took to get out of here alive. However, Goring had a very different plan. He suggested to make weapons, and descending on the platform, give people an equal amount of food, so that there would be enough for everyone. Bahara was skeptical about this idea, but Goring said that this way they could break the mechanism of the hole. When he was on the 202nd level, he was able to calculate from the time intervals of the platform stops that there were about 250 levels altogether. Bahara decided to agree to this. The next day they made weapons out of improvised materials and allowed people on each level to eat only the amount of food they needed to survive. Not everyone liked it, but there was no other choice. One of the men suggested they act not by threats, 
but by trying to persuade people to share food with each other. Only if persuasion doesn't work can force be used. They also need to leave some kind of message for the administration, such as a deliciously beautiful dish, which must return untouched to level zero. Goring and Bahara guarded the dessert, knowing that everyone's life depended on it. The guys would not let people higher level 50 touch the food as they were regularly fed. The platform went lower and lower, and the guys realized that there were more than 250 levels. Here people turn into madmen, willing to do anything for food. They behave worse than animals. Bahara and Goring protected whoever they could. Both ended up being very badly injured. But they continued to descend. This place was like hell, here human morality loses its power. Despite the distribution of portions, there was still not enough food for everyone. The dessert must remain intact. The platform stopped at the 333rd level. Horrified to see a child, Goring and Bahara decided to stay here. Despite the fact that the guys had food with them, the temperature did not change. The guys fed the child the very dessert that was supposed to be the message. While delirious, Goring was speaking again with Tremagasi and Imagiri, who hinted that in fact the message was something else. Goring was awakened by Bahara. They both realized that the girl was the message. Suddenly Goring woke up again and realized that Bahara had passed away. Goring could no longer distinguish between dream and reality, his mind was all mixed up. The next day, Goring and the girl went down on the platform to the very bottom. They were approached by imaginary Tremagasi, who said that his journey was over. According to him, the girl must go up alone, because only she is the message. In the final shots, we see the platform going up to the very top, 